completely surreal and uh, standing here before you. I didn't know if this day would actually come. Wasn't it only a few days ago that you said we probably shouldn't speak anymore? <laughs> <laughs> the same day that we agreed to start dating inside that, signed that ever-growing relationship contract. As soon as that happened, this amazing, beautiful, smart woman entered into my life and brought with her all the love and warmth of the sin itself. I remind myself every day how lucky I am to cross paths with you and that you still chose me after witnessing firsthand how much you've worked on <laughs> I've not stumbled across just anyone. I finally found my favorite person in my soulmate. Someone I want to do absolutely everything with, who I can pour all my love and energy into and trust and in. You've taught me how to be in the moment and enjoy experiences over things. I promise to uphold this ideal and to give you my full, undivided attention during every one of our adventures. I vow to always stand by your side through the good times and the bad, through sickness and pandemics, through every single project that lands on our to-do list. I will be there for you. You are such a strong, caring woman. You surprise me each and every day with the intensity of your love and attention to our relationship. I commit to placing your needs above my own and to remember and, and putting in the effort to remember the little things like the coffee on your morning bedside table, <laughs> the random arrival of flowers at the front door, the spontaneous weekend getaway to show just how much I adore you and appreciate you everything that you do for me. I commit, my, commit myself to our family and our future. I vow to deeply love you, nurture your ideas and dreams, and to soften your worries. I vow to care for every single version of Lucy, especially Lucy 1.0, even if it means having to convince you to go down for a nap when you know you. <laughs> I promise to always say I'm sorry. And to reference Lucy is always right dot com. <laughs> I promise from this day until my very last day to cherish every single moment, every adventure, and every challenge. Lucy, I am yours. And I truly cannot wait to see what life has in store for me. to think really hard about what I can promise you for the rest of our lives together. I would love to promise you the world. I would love to promise you that you won't keep winding my hair attached to you in random places. <laughs> and that you'll never again be woken up by Spud jumping on your head. <laughs> but it's not very likely. So here's the promises that I thought that I really could keep. I promise to continue to fill our lives with laughter and fun to keep planning adventures and new places for us to explore together. I promise 
to support you through the tough times, to hold your hand and listen, and reminding you of what a special person you are every time you forget. I promise to celebrate with you during the great times, to appreciate how lucky and fortunate we are to have found each other. And I promise to continue to love you, all that you are, and all that you will be. All the love of my life, Jay Ross. I love our crazy, productive, and fluff-covered lives together. <laughs> and the promise of so much more to come makes this the happiest day of <laughs> All my love for your favorite. is it's already half kind of going to get torn up a little bit and um, David said some of what I was going to say definitely more beautifully and romantically than I was going to say about some of uh, Jay Lewis's journey and that's comes out and then Cole scared me to death about 10 minutes ago and he's like oh it's been a beautiful day don't get yeah, up oh, so I'm, I'm trying my best I will try my best Cole <laughs> okay and plus, I've also seen, we've got um, Luke, Jake's brother, and David, Lucy's dad, following this, and David has props, so I've already come third, which I'm fine, so I'll be the warm up act. I'll, I'll get through my nonsense as quick as I can. <coughs> Charming. Right. So for those that don't know me, my name's Alan, um, and uh, I've got the honour today of being Jake's best man. And being one of his best friends, despite being on table five, the the crib, the family crib. Best friend. I could sit next door if you want. So, so I, I've done best man. Uh, it's my third time doing best man, but first time in the US. So I thought I'd do a bit of googling, figure it out, have a look at what's what's different between the American and British way. The Americans they got some, they go more down the advice route. Don't mention ex-girlfriends, don't swear, don't tell rude jokes. I'm from Sheffield, Shane Wildlings is going to be a challenge in itself to try and keep it clean, but I'm going to try. It also says to try and give them a married couple of advice. Me. <laughs> I'm more divorces than Ross and friends. Quite try and get hair style tips, but I'm going to try. So I wrote down a few. I thought, you know, I could tell Jane just for fun occasionally. Introduce his new wife as his next girlfriend, just to see how it goes. <laughs> Definitely, every time she gets mad, just tell her to calm down. She'll, she'll re People love that, they love that. And as you heard out there, Lucy works hard and stuff, so when she's had a stressful day and she's tired and, and you know, maybe she's got a bit of a headache, make sure to remind her that you've got needs too, Jake. Don't forget. <laughs> it's a two way street, mate. Uh, so, just before I get on to torturing Jake a little bit, and this was something else that I got reminded about in there, this is kind of talk about myself, but it's traditional to talk about the, the bachelor, bachelorette party a little bit. So we went to Eureka Springs last week, it was a great time, got on the boat, nobody got arrested or broken, which was nice. But then something happened before we went out. We got a, we got an app, so everyone that was taking pictures throughout the day, because any picture they took got automatically uploaded to this group so that everyone could see it without needing to share it at the end of the day. And poor best man here, whilst he was getting ready in the hotel room, Alina took pictures of Alan wearing nothing but his birthday suit, <laughs> thinking it'd be funny, went straight to the group. So, you know, I thought I'd mention that one. <laughs> Story about me. Some people think I'm self involved, but that's enough about them. We'll carry on. So now, time to, to torture Jake a little bit, but I'm, I'm going to start by describing him. So he's a good looking chap, intelligent, charismatic, he's... I can't read the rest of Jake, I don't know what you're putting next to him. I'll try, I'll try. I'll try. Um, so we met, I'm trying, I'm trying to work out, I think me and Jet mate about six years ago, as Matt mentioned, um, same way as you and Jake mate working for our EPL, same company. I was thinking about what stories we could tell, and most of those are going to incriminate me a little bit. So I was like, mm, I don't know what should we stay away from, so I'm, I'm definitely not going to tell them about the time we got last minute Tinder dates, because neither of us were sober enough to drive home, so they could pick us up. 
still have phone symbol in my car. I won't tell them about the time that you dated a Twin Peaks girl, and she got rather obsessed after two dates, confessed her undying much. Um, all we've got, I've got another one Matt, that Matt told me, she blamed him in a second. But I won't tell them about the time that we got so drunk on a Wednesday night, school night at JJ's, we woke up in our own driveway, no idea how we got there. That's a true thing, right? And then Matt says, this is great, stealing it, when you were at college together, Jake's favourite thing at the end of an evening, just pee in random places, claiming his territory. <laughs> Bathroom floors, closets, <laughs> other people. I don't know what you needed to do, dude. <clears throat> so the, the, the next bit was going to be about, you know, how uh, Jake and Lucy found me together, and I covered that, that was great. But I do have a little bit in the middle that he didn't mention. He kind of touched upon the cruise. Now, so I'm going to get too uncomfortable, and I'm going, yeah. But, that was kind of a spark in the relationship. It was a key moment when we get together, right? And me being close with Jake, uh, we got to witness that as a, as a company with Robert, Liz, and Will, and a few others that were on the boat. Um, and I don't know if it was, you know, the romantic setting or the, the lack of options, Lucy. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> And it, it's pretty much since the cruise, it was the winter cruise, December, probably before the Valentine's Day that, that Matt mentioned. There was, there was the moment I mentioned, uh, sorry, I remember, as, as this being a couple that was, um, you know, that really brought each other happiness and everything else. You could, you could see they were a true couple after that. So, um, I will say, honestly, never seen Jake happier in those six years, truly. Um, again, Matt, Matt covered a lot of this, but I think, I don't know if Lucy would ever picture herself learning Magic the Gathering or as many board games as she has learned from Anne, which shows her patience and, and true love and dedication to Jake. But um, I, I try not to tread any toes when the speech is coming, but I think for me, seeing you guys, like I, I love you to bits, and I, I don't think that anyone, when they, when they see you two, can not question that that's what love looks like, it's what friendship looks like, it's what togetherness and forever looks like, and I'm just so happy for you both. I love you both. Genuinely honored that you want me to, to do this. Um, so I'm not going to do uh, an exact toast, because we're going to do that at the end, but I am going to ask you as I'm walking over towards you, just to raise your glasses, if you would, and we're just going to do a very British cheers to the bride and groom, because we all love you, and we're very grateful that we're here with you, so cheers. It's really hard to be moving out of the house and not being able to see you guys every day. 
and being able to bust. But even though you guys haven't been that good together for that long, you've already accomplished so many great things and raised a pack of four amazing bucks. <laughs> I can't wait to see what happens, not only in the near future, but the far future for you guys.
Lucy knew of the dangers of ladies travelling alone, so she had to do her homework to travel safely. Doing something like that takes a lot of practice, and nothing was going to stop Lucy. She needed to do this to tick the box and feel as though she'd experienced life before she settled down. Lucy had many adventures along the way, including being chased by men back to the hospital she was standing in. Lucy would like to tell her about these things as she knew she would have a heart attack. Also true. Now I've heard said few words to Jake. Jake, you're one of the best things that happened to Lucy. We can see how happy you make her feel. You're kind, considerate, and a great person inside that family. We could not be happy to welcome you and Tom family, and we look forward to making more trips to the USA in the future and your family. Now then, I'm not sure if you know that in England, the government has introduced a new initiative where the all newlyweds receive a marriage starter pack. <laughs> Now, this is just a ride by express delivery. <laughs> now, for the purpose of this, Jake is an officer on the cruise. Let's see what's in the start of that. First of all, there's a picture of the new Prime Minister to go on the map of these other times. Second That's Miss Trust, you know, Prime Minister. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Now there was a box of tea bags. Oh. Now, now everyone knows the British love their tea, Melody especially. Hence, <laughs> this is to make sure that Lucy and Jake have some tea in the house in case of this and dignitaries. <laughs> so, and, and we have an umbrella. All the British families own numerous umbrellas. <laughs> How with global warming changing the world climate, we think it may be needed here as much as we can. <laughs> Similarly, we have a bottle of sun cream for when you visit the new home, new UK, or well, our new hot climate, 41 degrees this year. <laughs> Finally, we have what appears to be a feather duster. <laughs> I'm not sure. Oh, 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 there's a label on the bottom that says, for the bedroom. Oh and finally, there's a bottle of purple which I think is meant to set the mood alongside the photo. <laughs> Any good father of the rice tea should end with some wise words about marriage. And we have some specifically from you, son in law, Jake. Jake, when you reach our age, you realise what it means to go home at night to a world that gives you respect, tenderness, and affection. What it actually means is you the wrong house. <laughs> Thank you. 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 Thank you.